Have you ever wondered why businesses fail? Startups normally fail up. Have you ever wondered or have you ever thought like what could be the reason behind that? A lot of us start our career early and only a very few of us has got this flair of being an entrepreneur. So being an entrepreneur is not everyone's cup of tea. And uh, in this video, we're going to see a lot of uh, common mistakes which first time entrepreneurs do. And uh, without further delay, let's get started with it. My name is PB or Anand and I'm posting up technical contents as well as financial related contents on this channel Macwin. If this is the first time you're watching this channel, do subscribe to this channel as well. And first to start with, we'll start like how exactly do this happen? Like how exactly does being an entrepreneur work? So it could be like very enticing or it could be like thrilling to a lot of people like people around us normally say that uh, you are an entrepreneur, you didn't even work, out, uh, work under someone or like you are like free to choose whatever you want. So as thrilling as it could be, there are a lot of pitfalls as well in this like that. It becomes the, the dream of others could become a nightmare for another person. So in this video, we'll break down like what are the most commonest mistakes which are found among entrepreneurs and how you can avoid them. So point number one. The first one is to failure to plan. So the biggest mistake which every one of us do when you start your business is uh, we start immediately without a complete solid plan in mind. You need a foolproof business idea and the desire to start your business. You need to have a clean, uh, clear idea along with your strategy like how are you going to implement them. So without a plan, your business is likely to face up some kind of a challenge. So you need to have that proper foresight before you even start your business. So the key insight on this would be is uh, before you do anything else, sit down, make up a proper business plan, make a complete um, map of it and choose your target audience and try to go with the marketing strategy. Only when you have this foolproof plan, then you start implementing this. So once your plan is not ready or when it is not perfect, you should still be focused on your plan or, or like work on adjusting your business ideas and your strategy. So that's the first point. The second thing would be is like, uh, very easily uh, told or like said it is like people normally just talk and there is no action into it so we just keep talking about the business ideas but there are no action items into it so it normally get excitement when you share your ideas with others however just talking about your business is not going to take you anywhere so it's like uh, it's not going to take you to great places so if you have a business plan and idea you need to start implementing on those so the successful ones are those that are normally executed so the key site or the key insight in this would be is like take simple steps like take if you have a business plan cut it into like 10 parts complete each part every week and then like complete up by the end of day so you'll be able to see the review of yourself how exactly your business idea is like developing how are you like um, building building up your business from the scratch that's going to be your point number two that's the, the third important thing is like uh, staying alone and being by yourself and not asking for help so as an entrepreneur, you need to have a lot of ideas and you need to like discuss with a lot of people because it is easy to learn from someone else's mistakes. That's the most important thing. So no one wants to get ideas like with the fear that like your ideas could be, be stolen by someone or like uh, you feel like embarrassed to ask ideas or help from someone. So it is never wrong to get your ideas. So it is better to be like uh, to ask for ideas and like fail in it rather than just being yourself and then like without uh, taking up help from others. So try to always find a mentor, a co-founder, a business person or a fellow entrepreneur. Don't be afraid to ask for ideas or feedbacks and do ask your assistance whenever you need it. Even it could be from a smaller person. Just try to ask your uh, help from them. Only then like people who ask will always succeed in business. That's how it works. Entrepreneurship works really in like how exactly are you able to interact with others and how are you able to reach your ideas and deliver your concepts and get help from others. That's how a business proceeds. The fourth important thing or the main point here is like impatience. Building up a successful business takes up time. As we all know that Rome was not built in a night. So it takes up a lot of patience and there'll be a lot of downfalls as well. You learn things from that. So if you want to take quick results, this is not the place to start a business. You need to uh, take some time. Every business takes some time to gain traction. So rushing in ideas like starting up something and like claiming that it didn't work out, cancelling up the business, going up with the next idea is not going to work out. Think of a business strategy, work on that idea and try implementing that until you succeed. So that's going to be the key point for an entrepreneur. 
So the key insight on this is like practice, practice patience. That is very important here. You have to stay committed on to your ideas. Take up time, a lot of time to create up your idea, like bringing up your concept or idea, take up a lot of time. But once you implement it, have a broader vision in mind, go for a long term vision. Understand that there is going to be like definitely downfalls and do not get like uh, um, washed away from those kind of uh, bad bits. Try to always like go ahead with this uh, progress in mind, like what exactly your vision for your business. Only that is going to take up your place. They say, right, cutting a tree needs a sharper axe. So take time to sharpen your axe. Take up a lot of time and then cut the tree. Do not go with a blunt axe and fight with your tree. That's how the business starts or how the entrepreneurship works. Then the fifth important thing would be is like hiring up your friends because these are your friends who have been like you or who have traveled around with you, who have spent a lot of time with you. These are like-minded people. So when it might be like good to bring up your friends into business, it could also lead to problems as well because uh, hiring friends can always lead to professional and business issues. Make sure that like you try to hire up friends or like bring up uh, partners into the business who are like-minded towards you and uh, they also have the same flair as you and they also have the same thought process as you. Only then that is going to work out. So the key insight on this or the main thing to take up uh, charge on this like when building up your team, focus on their skills, their experience and their cultural brought up. Like how are they? Are they similar to you? So it's always crucial to hire people who bring right expertise to the table rather than people who are just beating around the bush. Try to find out people who are like-minded as you. The sixth point here is like a very crucial one, forgetting about the customer. The entrepreneurship or a business starts only with the motto in mind to serve the customers. Many entrepreneurs get caught up with their product or the ideas of the service, forget to like satisfying the customer. Once you forget that your business will never exist, you are not going to stay in the market. So if you are going to lose sight of how the customer is going to behave or what exactly is their uh, requirement, your business is not going to be like uh, successful on a long run. Maybe on a shorter time it may succeed, but then on a longer run it will never succeed. So the key insight on this is like always keep your customer happy and they are going to be your center of attraction or your center of decision. Always try to get feedback from the customers, keep them at the pivotal role and try to change your business ideas or your products depending on what the customer needs. Only that is going to bring you riches or make your business flourish. Otherwise, it's not going to work out. Then the seventh important point here is like fearing about theft. Like I told earlier, like bringing up your ideas or asking for helps always come with the fear in mind that my ideas might get uh, stolen by someone or like someone might uh, take up this concept and build up their own business. So fearing of theft is a very important thing. It's a common thing to worry about that uh, your ideas may get stolen. So this cannot hold you back from taking up uh, comments from your friends or like taking up ideas from other uh, mentors and stuff or even it could be even funding. So when you're planning for a funding, do not think or hesitate that your ideas might get chosen or like stolen by others. Always have a crux point in your hand like what exactly is the process. You need not execute or like tell everything to others. Cut your projects into multiple parts. Let others or the friends whom you bring in work on different modules and you join up everything together and try making up the final output. That will always make your the execution has to be in your hand. That's what truly matters. So your ideas will never get stolen or get uh, taken uh, carried away by someone else. So the key insight is that like uh, do not let uh, fear that someone might copy your ideas and implement things. I myself have done this in the past. I always have this uh, surmise in me that uh, someone could take up my ideas and like build up their own business. So do not think of things like that. Let that not stop you because potential investors or partners or customers, they always try to go for you. There are a lot of business who do the same business, but still all of these business sustain in the market. So there could be definitely a potential customer to you. So always protect your intellectual property like what I said earlier, like you had, you try to hold that one very important thing in your hand, you hold the reins to the project. Let others bring in their own ideas and chime in whatever they could into this business. So focus on the execution and building a brand that stands out, that's going to take you to places. Then a very important point is like lack of ability. You may have the best products in the world, but if you can't sell it, you will business is not going to be like taking a kick off. Many entrepreneurs, they are very good technically. They are very good in like um, building up their application or in the product or whatever it is. But they lack this conviction in selling this product. Only when you sell the product, you are going to make it as a business. Otherwise, it's always going to be just a product. So it will not sell by itself. So you need to have that sales person's flair inside you. Only they are going to be an entrepreneur. So you should be like technically good like whatever is your business, it could be a software business or it could be like selling an item in Amazon or it could be like any business. But have that thing in you 
that uh, you need to have the entire business prospects or the ideas like whatever it is the modus operandi of the business should be in your hand you should know you should hold the reins to the business always you should also have the flair to sell it only a successful sales person will be able to take a comp a business by to greater places that's how it works so usually this doesn't happen a person who is like very good technically will not be like very good in like sales at that times you could try hiring up your friends or try to take bring up your partner someone into the business who has got this uh, learning on how to sell the products or how to make a business flourish so it could you can also try going up with other uh, education as well there are a lot of youtube channels or a lot of people who provide these kind of sales training or uh, practices and stuff you can try hiring up them or you can also try taking up those sales skills and you can attend the classes and you also improve up your chances of success a very important thing the final point i would say is like always waiting for perfectionism so perfectionism is a very important thing to consider apple is successful in the market just because they create pixel perfect product and their products are flawless but there are a lot of mixed reviews about that as well so people still have negative opinions or negative thoughts about uh, apple's product be it their uh, tripodal lens or be it their uh, unibody shape and stuff so you cannot always uh, fulfill everyone's um, requirements so always don't have in mind that i will be releasing a product or anything in the market only when it is perfect so perfectionism will always lead to a roadblock in entrepreneurs if you are an entrepreneur start immediately and start young that is how it's work because uh, when you try to like uh, make up your product which is going to be like uh, making everyone happy in the world it is never going to work out so always try to launch something initially and then try to get feedback from the others there is always a version 2 which you could do so there's a saying right done is better than being perfect never spend time in like perfecting things implement it first let that be the alpha version then go with your uh, launch then let it go to the public let them review the item they come up with their own suggestions and stuff then go with the plan b or the version 2 of it then you can get the real feedback from the world that's how the thing starts once you get the thing started up there is no turning back your business will automatically kick start and it will take you to greater places so starting a business is a thrilling experience but it has got all of these challenges in this so if you avoid all of these challenges and you increase up your chances of success then you are definitely going to take up your business to greater levels so entrepreneurship is a journey and growth you have to be like keep learning and that learning will always take you to the growth procedure so you have to embrace this process when you you need to be like learning things you need to like be um, a people person interact with a lot of people around you you need to educate yourself with a lot of technologies and jargons that's going to take up to a lot of places and uh, if you like all of these contents uh, do subscribe to this channel and uh, share this video to with a lot of your entrepreneurial friends and uh, let's see what they come up with their ideas and comments and do not forget to uh, smash that like button as well and i'll catch you up in the next one Thanks for watching.